action. When you look at the majority of states in the United States of America, they're predominantly white. Okay, so you look at the majority of cities, they're predominantly white. Right. By statistics, seventy three percent of white people don't have any interactions with anyone outside their race. See, and I I'm not speaking on that demographic because I'm speaking on the demographic of the white folk that they have seen. I'm not the first black person they've ever seen. So it's it's not like a, a new occurrence when they see me. It's like you you if know you come in contact with these folks, it's because y'all have proximity. And we so, have proximity so because I'm understand. I'm I'm working in spaces that frequent white folk. So they understand your lived experience and so they have a connection with you. For a large portion of the white population in America, all they see is a caricature of me on television or what they see as they scroll through the gram. They don't actually. What do you any... see when you scroll? See, I, I've always been interested in that. What, is, what do you see when you scroll through the ground? Everything in life is based on relationships, right? So, as a black person, when you scrolling and you see something deplorable to black people, how does that make you feel? No type of way. When I look at Insta, when I look at Instagram, I understand that this is just people performing to get clicks and likes. Correct. You know. And so if the algorithm concert. if the algorithm is promoting the most deplorable things, then I'm gonna do the thing that makes the algorithm work. Human beings are incentive based people. Correct. And so what if, am I getting? So if I'm if I come on here and I'm having the most profound conversations ever, but you wanna see some big fat ones just shaking, then you finna scroll right past me because you got some things to look at. Correct. And so you gotta meet the people where they at. Correct. You know what I'm saying? And I and I dig it. Like, I love black people too, but we have to have like a, a spirit of entrepreneurship, a spirit of a solidarity, not based on just because we black, but because but I, I we're feel like to achieve some shit. We're gonna achieve it, but it will be through innovation. Because they have already figured out what we are good at. But we can This economy that. has already figured out what black people are good at. So then now I can put you in a lane. To make sure that I exploit everything that you're good at, but I do not allow you access outside of this lane. They tell you representation matters, but it's not also just representation, but it's also concentration, right? Correct. Like I can look at a, at a team and it's it's a it's ten white players, it's one black player. Like I'm represented, but I don't think I'd want to be the sole black dude on a white team. I don't know if that's gonna. Do. It's a different experience. We call that hockey. <laughs> the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.